<laughs> guys, 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 guys. <laughs> Let's take a minute and laugh at Liverpool. They were trying to mess with the people who are stronger than them. They tried to bully Chelsea Football Club. Let's take a minute and laugh at them. Romeo Lavia said clearly to Liverpool, I don't want you. I want to go to Chelsea Football Club. That is a double punch, my brother. Double KO. If you agree with me, and if you are happy about what Chelsea are doing right now, my friend, what are you waiting for? Click that like button. Let's get minimum 2,000 likes in this video. I don't care. No more excuses. Oh my Lord. One click, one sub. One second of your life. Let's get to 2,000. I have to be ambitious because our owners are ambitious. Chelsea Football Club, a big club. And we show Liverpool that you don't mess with Chelsea Football Club. Todd Bowley on fire, man. Let's go. <laughs> guys listen man this video has no structure and i don't care i haven't slept for like three days here we go after here we go after here we go controversy after controversy this one i wasn't really sure that we can pull this off this deal i wasn't sure i was like yeah do we really need lavia at chelsea football club when you have ugo chuku leslie and you have Moises Caicedo in the pocket already. I wasn't sure. But like I said, because of the pride, because of what Liverpool tried to do to us, this is showing them that next time, stay away from us because you can't compete with us. So for the pride, I would take it. Anything else, we're going to be talking about it, you know, during the season. But now, death, quality. We are moving from Jorginho Frelo, Kovacic, to Lavia, Enzo, and Moises Caicedo. Lord have mercy. And this season, I can tell you now that we are going to challenge for the Premier League. I don't care anymore. At the beginning, I was like, hmm, it's a young team. Give them time. Blah, 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 blah. But even Pochettino himself is like, hey, Oggs, stop it. I don't want to hear that. We are a big club. Chelsea is about winning and we're going to win. So I am going to follow what the manager is saying instead of giving him excuses. David Austin, look at that. Romeo Lavia has chosen to join Chelsea from Southampton. Liverpool were pursuing, but are aware of the decision. So just like Moises Caicedo, Lavia called them and said, you know what? I'm not coming to you. I'm going to the best club in London. Lord have mercy. The meltdown right now in the, in the, <laughs> in the Liverpool community is something else. I think they're going to report this to FIFA, FA, Premier League, the United Nations, you know, the NATO, all kind of organizations, they are going to report this. Let's continue. So, the Saints have a good relationship with Chelsea Football Club. So, no issue expected on deal or personal terms. Fee likely to be around 50 million plus add-ons. Wow. Boom. Bomba. Let's go. Let's continue. Fabrizio Romano. Romeo Lavia decision to join Chelsea 
as they wanted him already last summer. Yeah, remember last summer we put the bid, the last minute it was rejected. The same we did with uh, Josco Vadiol and also uh, Edson Alvarez. We put the bid the last minute, but it was rejected. Three bid. Otherwise, he was going to be at Chelsea already. So, let's continue. He joined Southampton for 12 million from Manchester City, of course. Chelsea got 50 million proposal rejected on the deadline. Story revealed last summer now makes key important key impact on Lavia's future as he said yes to Chelsea Football Club move. <laughs> Listen, man, like I said, I'm all over the place now. No structure for this video and I don't care. This is celebration and I don't care if I'm going to make thousand videos today because you have news like this. How do you want me to sleep? How do you want me to stay quiet? Breaking news after breaking news. I don't have to wait until the end of the day to make how many news. So I have to make every time something is out there, you expect a new video from me. Stay tuned. Let's continue. Ben Jacobs. Romeo Lavia has picked Chelsea. Yeah, he did. And I know... Liverpool fans are going to say, oh, because of the money, because of wah, wah, wah. Brothers, you had this guy, 50 million pay. You refuse to pay. Now, you are going to pay the price. Don't blame Chelsea. Don't blame Romeo. Go somewhere else. Look for somebody else, okay? No agreement reached yet between Chelsea and Southampton, according to Ben Jacobs, but a package of around... 50 million plus add-ons is likely soon. Lavia was open to Liverpool for much of the summer, but has decided to pick Chelsea. Joe Shield role important. Joe Shield is the guy who discovered him and who brought him to Manchester City and who took him to Southampton. So he's just showing some respect to the master. Hey, <laughs> my goodness me. Woo. Okay, let's continue reading. Chelsea want Caicedo, both Caicedo and Lavia, Caicedo today and Lavia to be announced as new signings this week. Let's go. Yeah, we saw some pictures already, you know, some links on social media of, you know, Caicedo taking pictures at Stamford Bridge and doing the media duty. So very soon it's going to be announced. 165 million potential package for both also explains why Chelsea left Tyler Adams' deal after medical. Injury was not the issue. They decided not to invest. They decided to invest on Romeo and Moises Caicedo. Yeah, I can understand now. For the next 10 years, we are good. But there is a catch here though. If we gonna sign Lavia and then we have to sell to send some some players on loan, right? People like uh, Ugo Chuko and Santos might might be in danger. I don't know about Santos because he plays more in advanced position. So let's wait and see what's gonna happen. Oh man, so Lukaku, we have to sell Kalim Hasunadoi, ZH. We're gonna have to sell even somebody like uh, Conor Gallagher. It is what it is. I don't make decisions. I'm going to just go with the flow. Confused, emotionally drained, frustrated, and wondering what the hell is going on with Chelsea and where they're getting the money from. Our job tonight is to try and give you the answers to those questions. All right, people. So, this one becoming like a old news already, right? <laughs> the Moises Caicedo. So this is, uh, it's, it's done. So we don't have to really to talk too much about Moises Caicedo. He's been there for the last uh, 24 hours. So we don't have to repeat always the same thing. We're just waiting for the official announcement. Like I said, pictures been taken at Stamford Bridge and at Cobham. He's been doing the media duty. Don't, don't you know, 
don't be surprised like tomorrow or probably it's too late today but tomorrow he he'll be announced and wow what a coup man what a coup we are going to surprise many many people listen chelsea we are back baby we are back fabrizio romano moises caicedo has just completed the main part of his medical test that started around 9 a.m uk time now time to sign contract as new chelsea player until june 2020 2031 wow long time gel time look at this <laughs> a lot of memes going on everywhere the meltdown in the in the community oh my lord have mercy let me know in the comment section down below do you think now that chelsea got the best midfield in europe because i don't see anybody that would just compete with us in the midfield but we still need some key positions though you know goalkeeper number two goalkeeper but who can also challenge santos santos sanchez <laughs> robert sanchez i can't even speak and probably another attacking player who can also score goals and michael olis yeah olise is loading stay tuned because we have some very good news coming your way very soon we're gonna be live on soccer iq because i can't keep up with this all the time making videos it's just getting boring so we have to go live and give you the opportunity to call and have your say lord have mercy i can see what they're doing what he's doing i can see it i feel it i can i can he's cooking i can see <laughs> 